اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so today uh, we inshallah we guide, we are going to learn something new which we, which we haven't covered so far so up till now we have learned about the first property of ism that is status so we we all should know what status means what type of status we have what are the three different types and most importantly how to recognize how to determine the the status of an ism just look at the ism and determine if it is rafa nasab or jar so we have done a lot of practice on this so I, today i will not go over that uh today i'm going to talk about heavy and light concept an ism can be heavy and an ism can be light okay this is this is actually a deviation from uh, the properties it's not really talking about properties it's like a sub topic but inshallah tomorrow we will go back to the properties and we will start the second property of ism so today we are going to talk about as i said about the heavy and light concept first we will talk about heavy what is a heavy ism okay so we know the muslim chart muslimun musliman muslimin muslimani muslimaini muslimaini muslimuna muslimina muslimina this is the masculine chart similarly we have a feminine chart all the words in the masculine and feminine muslim chart they all the words in those two charts they are heavy they are all ism and they are all are heavy ism okay so that's what i wrote here all the words in the muslim charts are heavy masculine and feminine so muslimun is heavy musliman muslimin muslimani muslimaini muslimaini muslimuna muslimina muslimina they are all heavy similarly muslimatun muslimatan muslimatin muslimatani muslimataini muslimataini muslimatun muslimatin and muslimatin these all words are heavy in arabic we say they are thaqil thaqil but you don't have to memorize the arabic term you can just say they are heavy words they are heavy ism okay so now the other part is what is light ism what is the light ism and how we make an ism light if we have a heavy ism in front of us how we will make that ism light and the formula is a heavy ism is made light by removing the noon sound at its end what does that mean for example i say muslimun muslimun n n do you do you see do you hear the noon sound at the end if you remove the noon sound from the end then you make it light okay all the words in the uh, in the muslim chart masculine or feminine they all have noon sound at the end now listen muslimun musliman muslimin muslimani muslimaini muslimaini you did you notice the noon sound at the end similarly muslimuna muslimina muslimina noon sound similarly muslimatun muslimatan muslimatin muslimata ni muslimatai ni muslimatai ni muslimatun muslimatin muslimatin i'm prolonging the noon sound just to give you the clarity that there is a noon sound at the end so all of these words are heavy and we can make all of them light by removing the noon sound from the end now the question is how we remove the noon sound 
how we remove the noon sound to make a heavy ism light. So I, what I've done here, I have copied over here the first column of the Muslim chart, the masculine chart. So Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin. These all these three words are heavy words, and I want to make them light. And we already know we can make an ism light by removing the noon sound at the end. So what what minimum change we can do? To this Muslim word to remove the noon sound. What is the minimum change that we can do to remove the noon sound from the end of the word Muslimun? Hmm? Can you think about it and give me the answer? How about Imad? Imad, what do you think? How we can do that? Imad? Yes. <clears throat> so we have the word Muslimun. It is it is a, it has an ending sound noon. I want yeah. to get rid of this noon. How you can do that with the minimum change? What do you think? Muslim. Muslimum. Say it again. Muslimum. You are what you're saying, remove the, the double. Double the ma at the end and replace it what? With the? Muslimu. Muslimu. So you are saying the minimum change that we can make is remove the, the tanween, the two dhamma from the meme letter and replace it with one letter. That's the minimum change we can make to remove the noon sound. So do, does it sound like that there is a noon sound at the end, Muslimu. There is no noon sound at the end. There is no noon sound. Do you agree, Imad? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Muslimu is light. Muslimun is heavy. Muslimu is light. So this is a lighter version of Muslimun. What we can do with Musliman, Imad? Muslima. Muslima. But you know what? This Alif has to go. This alif is because of the two fatha. They are pair. They, they come together most of the time. Okay. If the tanween has to go and has to be replaced with only single fatha, then this alif has to go also. Okay? So we will yeah. not write alif with light word. Muslima. Okay. How about muslimin? Imad. Muslimi. Muslimi. So muslimun, musliman, muslimin. They are heavy. And what is the lighter version? Can you say the words in a light version, Imad? Yeah. Muslimu, Muslima, Muslimi. Muslimu, Muslima, Muslimi. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Imad. Yeah. Okay. Now we go to the second column in the Muslim chart. The duals. Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimaini. And there's a noon sound at the end. And they're all heavy. Okay. So we now we need to make them light. I would ask somebody else other than Imad now to help me out. Huh? Inshallah. To remove the noon sound. That's the task. The task is to remove the noon sound. Daniel. Daniel Faruqi. Yes. Do you know what the task is? To remove the noon. Remove the noon sound. Yes, sound. Okay. How you will remove the noon sound from Muslimani? Uh, you take the noon away. You take the noon away. Very good. There is no other way. We have to take the noon away. So, the the what will be the light version then? Muslima. Muslima. Perfect. Perfect, Daniel. <laughs> Muslima. How about the second word? Muslima. How we make it light? Muslima. Muslimai. How about the third one? Muslimai. Muslimai. So Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimaini are heavy. And Muslima, Muslimai, Muslimai. These are light. Perfect job, Daniel. Very good. Now I go to um 
I have I see some hands now. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, that's enough. I think I go and I will take the, the the youngest of those who have raised their hands. Okay, just to give her the chance first, and if she does it, that's good. Otherwise, we will I go to the next one. So the, I will choose Taimia. Taimia. Yes. So we we'll go to the third column in the Muslim chart. Muslimuna, Muslimina, Muslimina. We want to make it light. Help me remove the noon sound from the end. How we remove that? Muslimu. Muslimi. Oh, you can do it. Say it again. Muslimu, Muslimi, and Muslimi. So you say take away the noon? Hmm? That's yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So this is what Taimiya said. Taimiya said, take the noon away to remove the noon sound and the light version of Muslimuna will be Muslimu, Muslimina. The light version will be Muslimi and Muslimina, the jar form, its uh, light version will be Muslimi. Okay. Thank you, Taimiya. You can take your hands down now. That's all right. Okay. So now... What we have done so far that for the masculine chart, we have come up with the nine light words, light isms. So what will be the light chart now? Light Muslim chart. We need to practice this. So with the light Muslim chart will be Muslima, Musli, Musari, Muslimu, Muslima, Muslimi, Muslima, Muslimai, Muslimai, Muslimu, Muslimi. Muslimi. Okay, that's the light chart now. So we made a new chart. That now that I will show you that light. This is the heavy chart, and this is now the light chart. Light version of the Muslim chart. We know how to memorize that light chart also, and we need to know how to make an ism light, removing the noon sound. Muslimu, Muslima, Muslimi, Muslima, Muslimai. Muslimai, Muslimu, Muslimi, Muslimi. So this is the light version of the Muslim chart, masculine. So once you know the, how to make the Muslim chart um, um, masculine, sorry, the light Muslim chart, masculine chart, you can also do the same thing to the feminine chart. Very simple. Okay. So Muslimatun, Taimiya, you can take your hand down. Anusha, make the Muslimatun light. Uh, Muslimatun, uh, Muslimat, Muslimah. No. Make the minimum change, minimum change. Ayan. Um, uh, rem, uh, uh, what's it called? Remove one of the the mark okay. from the say the, the word. Mark. Muslimatu. Muslimatu. What's the nasab one? Muslimata. Jar. Muslimati. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Muslimatu. Muslimata. Muslimati. That is the light version of the first column. Second column. Um, Fatima. You remove the noon. Mm -hmm. Muslimata, Muslimati, okay. Muslimatai. Very good, Fatima. We go to Saad, Saad Iqbal, third column, plural. Muslimatu, Muslimati, Muslimat, Muslimati. Very good. Good job, Saad. Excellent. So now I will show you the uh, light version of the feminine Muslim chart. Muslimatu, Muslimata, Muslimati, Muslimata, Muslimatai, Muslimatai, Muslimatu, Muslimati, and Muslimati. That's the light version. Okay? So in the breakout rooms, we are going to practice the light version with different words, like the words that we used before. Okay? 
but a few last comments, concluding comments before I wrap up this topic. First comment is heavy version of an ism is normal. Okay. When a, when a, when an ism is heavy, it is it 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 is in its normal shape. You don't uh, heavy. You don't need to find a reason for an ism to be heavy. It's like uh, when the sky is blue, you don't you don't get concerned because that it's its natural color, right? You don't look for start looking for reasons why the sky is blue. Or when you see a green grass, you don't get concerned. It, when if it turns purple, for example, you will be you should be concerned. So similarly, heavy is normal. And when you see a heavy ism, you don't need to know why it is heavy. It is heavy because that's a default shape. That's a default form of an ism. But when an ism is light, it is light because of a reason. It is, there is a reason that makes it light. And there are four reasons for which an ism can be light. Okay? But I with, but we won't go into the details at this time, what those four reasons are. Inshallah, they will be taught at a later stage. But at this time, I just wanted to tell you about what is the light version. What is light? When we say a heavyism compared to a lightism, what does it really mean? So that was the ob uh, objective of today's lesson. So remember, heavy is normal. And when an ism is light, it has to have a reason to be light. And there are four reasons. Inshallah, they will be taught at a later stage. So now we are going to go into the breakout rooms. And what we are going to do in the breakout rooms, practice the, uh, the light version and use different words like kafirun, mu'minun. I was trying to go to that slide, but I won't, won't do that now. Uh, I would expect that you can, in the breakout rooms, go to that slide, find out those words, and use those words to practice the light version of the masculine and feminine Muslim chart. So use them as a template and like use muminun, muminatun, sajidatun, those words, use them to practice the light ism, uh, the light ism chart, inshallah. So we go to the breakout rooms now.